Hi, uh, and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial from Someone9031. And today I will be teaching you guys about recursive functions in C++. A recursive function in C++ is a function that will call itself. So if a function calls itself multiple times, then it is a recursive function. So there are some times when um, having a recursive function really helps because you uh, want it to call itself until a certain uh, until it reaches a certain point. Uh, one example of this is um, a function that will determine the GCD or greatest common divisor, or some of you might know it as the greatest common factor of two numbers. Now, what the GCD or GCF is is it's the largest uh, integer that will divide into two numbers evenly. That means without a remainder or a decimal or a fraction. So for example, if you look at the two numbers 6 and 12, the GCD or GCF, where whatever you call it, will be 6 because 6 is the largest integer that will divide evenly into both 6 and 12. So today we're going to be re uh, writing a recursive function that will determine the GCD of two numbers. And it's quite a useful function, especially for doing things like fractions. So yeah, I've written this function a lot of times. It's been quite useful to me. So yeah, um, it will return an int uh, variable. Uh, we'll call it GCD. And it will take two arguments, int x and int y. And these, of course, will be the two numbers that you're finding the GCD of. And now we need to create a local variable. We'll call it temp because it will be our temporary storage variable. And then now what we'll do is check if um, x will div be divided e evenly by y. So if x divided by y results in an integer. So if it does, then temp equals y. Because if uh, x can be divided by y, and y, of course, can be divided by itself, that means that uh, y is the GCD, because y will divide into both of them. Now, if that doesn't divide equally, then temp equals, we call GCD again, but this time, in the, in, for our x argument, we pass in y, and for our y argument, we pass in x mod y, and then return temp. So, now I'll be going over what this function does. Uh, basically, like I said, First, it checks if x can be divided evenly by y. If it can, then the GCD is y. Now, if it can't, then temp will be, um, then we call GCD again, but this time we pass in y and x mod y. And that will continue uh, until at some point, um, this, if x mod y equals 0, this will come true. And then at that point, y will be the GCD. So at some point, some point in this recursive function, a point will be reached where the variable x will, can be divided by the variable y. And the variable y at that point will be the GCD. So uh, we can do cout GCD and 12 and 6. And let's do one more, something that we know doesn't go into them. How about 27 and 17? That's a weird pair of numbers. And I have a feeling they might actually be co-prime, so we might actually get 1 as our result. Uh, I'm not really sure, so let's just run that and see what happens. Now, okay, we know that 12 can be divided by 6 evenly, so 6, of course, this will come true on the first run. So 6, now 27 and 17, however, do not divide into each other, and that doesn't come true. Um, now, eventually, this um, will keep being called, and eventually, y will reach 1. 
and 1 of course divides into everything. So 1 is their GCD, which means they are co-prime, which means they are a uh, number that can be divided evenly by um, only by 1 and nothing else. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, rate, and if you have any feedback, comments, or questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, or you can message me on YouTube. Thanks for watching.